hope they don't play confinement. Hey, Rush Reckless here, and welcome to a brand new video. So today we're actually gonna do something really, really funny. Um, it seems your my opponent knows who I am. Um, you as you saw there, we just maxed out the one of the newer cards, Grey the Balancer, which came out last month. However, I didn't get any chance to you know upgrade it, so we upgraded it to max today. We spent so many fusion stones. <laughs> If you guys don't like this video, I don't know what to tell you guys, but we are playing Winter's Howl with uh, just a slight difference. Now, Bust of Brawn actually got buffed this month, which is like pretty insane if you think about it. But our goal for this video today is actually going to be doing this really annoying start. We want to get to Grey the Balancer on mana 4 and then Bless with Brawn on mana 5. Grey the Balancer on mana 4, destroying one of their units. And then you end up blessed with brawn if you're lucky on on gray. And then the enemy, the best play the enemy has is just not playing any units. That is disgusting. And basically just win like that. Now, of course, it has to be very specific though. The enemy has to start on mana three, and then we start on mana four, and then we play gray, and then we play blessed with brawn the next turn, and then we win. That's what we're going to go for today. Um, I don't entirely know if we're going to, if that's going to work, but uh, so far it's looking pretty solid. Like, look, we get so much value here just from Ice Cold Burst into Erratic. I actually want to play Erratic first. I think it's such a good card. And then we'll go ahead and play Frost Exers into Ice Cold Burst. And then next turn, we're looking at Bless with Brawn. This also denies their Bless with Brawn if that's what they're trying to play uh, because Winter is pretty insane uh, with mana five Bless with Brawn here. Now it went down from mana six and it's pretty much minus three reduced strength but for one mana cheaper that's a big deal so <laughs> mana five blessed bronze gonna be insane i kind of did expect to see this i mean you could have played around loris here by playing frost Exers here or maybe just play frost Exer. yeah like if you play it here then just the same thing happens so i guess you could have just played it here but that's all right we're gonna go ahead and bust with Bron. i think i think now's the time <laughs> what do you do against this um well, now let's just hope they don't play confinement. If they play confinement, we just have to cut the video out, but uh, yeah. Okay, I'm uh, uh, sorry, something, there's something bugged out there. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I, I think I missed my turn, but we're just gonna keep playing as usual. I think at this point you can actually do a pretty solid <laughs> gifted GP Rhinelings play. What do you guys think? I mean, GP, like I'm thinking GP here. Rhinelings gifted into summon doesn't sound too bad. That's a lot of damage. And the main reason this works is because we're trying to really play for uh, for Wolf Cloaks, which we have in the deck. So Wolf Cloaks will be drawn next turn. And then if we can get off this damage, I mean, we just kind of just win the game. So <laughs> it's kind of what we're looking for, but it's, it's unlikely that actually works out. But if it does, I mean, you guys already know. Uh oh, GP to counter my GP. That's kind of really bad, actually, if they play Twilight now. Don't play Twilight. Some people play Twilight nowadays. Oh, Rhinelings. Okay, so at least we get six damage, though. That's a big deal. So this kind of sucks because obviously their GP just, my GP just vitalized that. <laughs> kind of a big deal. Kind of a problem. Um, So we can actually do a really aggressive play. Wolf Cloaks into Erratic. But then again, we're just going to lose to their own Wolf Cloaks. Do we really want to lose to their own wolf cloaks? If we're playing this smart. We don't use wolf cloaks this turn. I don't. I don't think that's right. It's so sad. We're too damaged off lethal. <sighs> okay, let's see. Let's see here. So we can defend. I guess I don't really like frost hexers either, though. Let's cycle out frost hexers. See what we can get. But then again, you could also cycle out wolf cloaks and get something better. Ugh, fine, I will do this play. It's like nothing good, but I guess we'll go ahead and do play like this. I guess it could work. Not my favorite play though. Definitely not my favorite, but it's good enough for now. And we need to play around Loris because once again, that Loris was pretty brutal. If we can get, oh yeah, gray. I forgot we even had this in the deck because <laughs> this is our first game playing with this. Uh, but now that we have gray, actually, things are kind of different because who knows? I mean, if they actually take over most of the board here, if they actually end up destroying most of these units, we could play gray and then get a lot of value out of it. This is also a big problem, uh, but it is winter. So we no matter what, we always have two turns. It is silence though and vitalize. That's kind of a big deal. Uh, but two turns, I mean, that's kind of enough for us to do stuff. Maybe we can do like gray and then we can't use bust with brawn, unfortunately, <laughs> but I'm still thinking about like gray. 
Oh gosh. That's fantastic. So they have their bust with brawn. This is just a bust with brawn versus bust with brawn game, isn't it? So you know one thing about uh, Ancients, it's that it says before moving, which means if I play it behind a unit, technically there's no movement, you know? So you could actually negate the effect by doing something like that. I don't know if this is the right play, guys. I don't know if this is the right play. We're going to do it anyways and pray they don't have uh, the counter card in hand because then we can actually just win. We could also just lose. So I don't know. It's a little bit tricky. If they somehow manage to clear these two, uh, Gray actually can see a lot of play. It would end up hitting one of these or whatever unit they play after, which we might be able to even clear. Uh, if we perfect clear to that, that'd be solid because then Gray kills Gray can literally kill this, like that's actually insane. Uh, if the whole board is empty, which means like this would be gone, this would be gone, this would be gone. Gray would just deal 11 damage to that and then I'd be really happy. Don't tell me we just... Okay, so they don't have confinement. And that is actually amazing if they don't have confinement because that means that we were able to fast cycle... Wow, we, we outcycled them. We played Bust with Brawn, they countered us with the confinement, and then we outcycled them so fast, we actually drew into Bust with Brawn again. That is the power of Winter's Howl. That is pretty solid. Let's get into the next game. But that is definitely one interesting way to play around something like that. Play around counter cards is like, you have two options really. You either don't play it again, because if you play it again, then you risk you know them having the counter card, or you fast cycle how like I did, I just went like that. Oh, I just realized this positioning is terrible against Shadowfen. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have played like this. Uh, uh, when I play against Shadowfen, I really like to play erratic bordering. Tactical nuke incoming! That's gonna suck. This is gonna suck. So this is basically also a counter card for this deck, but we're going to find a way past it. So we need a one mana here or a three mana, which I don't even think we have three mana. Yeah, I was totally hoping we don't get this because if we play this on an empty board, it actually kills itself because it does count towards its count, like it counts itself as a unit. So we just won't play anything yet. Um, that's unfortunate, but it's interesting actually because if they're playing this, there's an there's like really cool plays with gray because with ancients you can actually play your unit, play your ancient behind you one of your units, and then it technically doesn't move, so this wouldn't trigger. And if this doesn't trigger, then you can. S count you can like cancel its effect for one turn and then that would make it very difficult for the enemy to you know play into it for the i really want to gray here honestly gray into blessed with brawn <sighs> let me think gray into blessed with brawn next turn <laughs> it's like a little bit toxic or you could just gp blessed with brawn which is uh, probably always the better play which is unfortunate uh, we don't. I don't think Gracie's play here. I'm actually gonna cycle it out with Bust with Bronze. So right after I play Bust with Bronze, cycle it out so that hopefully we can drop back together for next time. But this is still looking really fun. I mean, the whole meta is just shifted now with this chain. Start. I don't feel so good. Okay. Uh, sorry. I think we lagged out again. Missed a turn or something. But with the Bust with Bronze chain, the whole meta is just completely shifted. This sucks. I hate it so much. I really wish I did gray. Um, I really wish I had gray, you know. I really wish I had gray after missing my turn, but that's okay. We're going to... We can actually cycle out for Frost Hexers. I'm not... I am playing with so many decks at the same time, guys. I, I kind of lose track of what in the world I'm even doing sometimes. But actually, we won't use... I don't think we use Icicle Burst here. So you only want to use Icicle Burst if you actually have Frost Hexers in hand. Give me Frost Hexers right now. Okay, that was probably a bit ambitious, but I can't play Frost Hexer. I mean, I can't play this card without Frost Hexer because that's like the easiest way to deal with this unit. I think our best play here is indeed just playing this and then top decking Frost Hexers from one of those cards. That's kind of unfortunate. They also play HV. At least this is actually a decent counter to HV. We have two felines on board, so it's not the end of the world. And if they actually hit their own unit, maybe then Ice Cobras doesn't even matter. Honestly, maybe now I'm considering maybe just Ice Go Burst on this and was enough because it would counter their own HV. So it would actually make it so that they can't HV. Reign of Frogs might be a Bragda player. Always tricky black Bragda players. And our Frost Hexers are going to be really weird positioned here. So uh, well, I guess we can position it here. Either way, it's kind of awkward nonetheless, but... Ooh, U-Bass. Interesting. I don't see U-Bass too often. It was kind of weird position too, only getting two hits. Uh, we'll, we'll take it. I mean, honestly, it would have been better to hit my face. That's alright. Still really, really good. Uh, I want to 
definitely cycle this out. Wolf cloaks? You know, this sucks. <laughs> you actually have the wolf cloaks here. The reason being is they really want to either Bragda or they're going to play... So they want to Bragda or I'm assuming they want to play into... Unfortunately, they're going to play into... Sorry, I'm like really just into a deep thinking process right now. Bragda or they're going to play into Hunter's Vengeance, in which case I either clear this or I defend. I really want to play around Bragda like so badly. I think this is... Such a big misplay. Why did I play that there? Okay, uh, I'm probably a little washed right now. <laughs> um, I did not realize my unit here would be easily accessible. For some reason, my brain was like, oh, UBAS is blocking that, so they can't access that. So if there was actually a unit here, this is actually pretty solid uh, formation because it would counter Bragda. Luckily, they don't have Bragda, so I don't have to worry too much, but that would have been a big, big deal. Um, Talk sack. So yeah, if I played gifted here, which was the other play, I mean, that would have been a lot better, but that's okay. Also, Shadowfen does counter gray. So, I mean, there's a lot of bad things here. Um, how much is this? This is actually perfect mana. I don't think there's any reason to trade anything. I'm going to go ahead and play this. Frost Hexers, Ice Cobras, Blessed with Brawn. Maybe I should, I actually will play Blessed with Brawn first. Uh, force out the confinement. Sounds pretty solid. And then we will Frost Hexer's Ice Scopers to kill this unit, not the one at my base, because I don't really care so much about this. Like, if it kills me, if it ends up attacking to my base, I think that's totally fine. I just need to get rid of that for sure. And then they likely will have Confinement in hand, which is obviously the big counter to this. So unfortunate. Uh, the meta is shifting such a strange way, but if you think about it from a macro perspective, it is best right now the ultimate rush would definitely have to be winter rush right because of this card and people are countering that so if they're countering that with confinement you're better off not playing this rush and instead playing shadowfin rush or something like something along those lines so it's kind of funny how you know the world works it, it works like back and forth it's very silly but it is also pretty interesting to think about uh i actually want to cycle this out because I think you need a, a, a unit with movement here. If we get a unit with movement, like that is actually kind of solid, right? It's not good enough though. I wanted I wanted to attack both of these. There's actually a chance we attack both of those. Okay, but we could just lose, so let's not do that. I'm gonna go ahead and play this. <sighs> so sad. I'm gonna go ahead and play this. It's gonna kill one of these two. Yeah, okay, at least it killed that. Get this buff. Play into this and then play into Rhymelings. And looks like we're pretty solid here for the most part. Gonna take seven damage to the face. And they have HV, so I mean, just a lot of things. Not really good, but at the same time, they're at 11 health. So if we're able to, they're gonna HV here for sure. And then, you know, the game continues as normal. <laughs> Not the greatest thing in the world. I also had to play Erratic there because if I didn't, I mean, they could also have a Butcher's tile available here. So they Butcher straight through into my base. Like, that would suck. I kind of had to play Erratic here. Because then, uh, yeah, if I played Erratic on this side, it Butcher's into whatever else. You don't even need to HV, but you could even Butcher's HV and then I mean, the game really sucks. So they do have Brag. They're going to play ROF here. At the very least, look, uh, we're going to get... This is going to kill another toad, so that's cool. You get one free toad kill. Kill a toad. Nice. That buffs everything up. Bragda, always fun to play against. Uh, you do have, you're so close to getting some kind of line, but not quite. I could actually do wolf cloaks. Just to kill that, that's gonna be put him at 10, so he's gonna get two health up. Frost Hexers, Icicle Burst, Gifted. You know, this is this is not actually really good. <laughs> the confinement is so tricky to, to handle. I didn't actually expect to see so much confinement, but that's all right. So now he plays HV and then the game continues again. His HV obviously won't hit him too hard because they're all just toads. So that is a pretty big benefit of that. Maybe we can play Gray. See, like we have Blessed Brawn again, but and realistically, we kind of have to play it no matter what, because it like our mana efficiency here is pretty terrible. So we're gonna kind of be forced to. At least I killed a Toad. That's pretty solid. Killed one of those. 
And then Dubious Hags get played. Hopefully not another ROF, because I really want to Gray here. If I Gray, it's going to end up killing this, but we can actually force it. We can kill this first. Oh, this sucks. This actually sucks. This is such, these are such good counters to the Gray because, so it, let's say I play Wild Seater Plus to hit this. It's going to spawn a token for me on either one, of, like another token for me. And then now you have two units, Gray counts as a third and you don't kill anything. <laughs> that is kind of tragic, but we can actually force, oh, we can actually force getting frontline actually. That would be pretty solid. Nice, that is so good actually, because now we can go here and then we can go so that's actually a lot of damage and that puts us really ahead into blast with brawn forcing out confinement they also have to clear this and they just played witches which as far as i'm aware is their only like diagonal double diagonal what's it called the only card or unit they have in the deck that can hit two two units at once like they don't run crimson sentry if, if i'm correct so they'd have to confine it and then find a way to clear this and this, which is not very easy. And then at the same time, Gray's going to always be alive. So there's a lot of pressure going on actually on the board here. We have Gray, which pressures them into doing something. Ubass, which hopefully doesn't hit this. That'd be the worst thing. And it hits that, of course. Okay, but I'm confused. Oh, they did not use confinement, which means they don't have it in hand, which means I win. <laughs> I don't know, that's actually so... That is just fantastic. Okay, we'll play one more and we'll see how this game plays out. <gasps> We're gonna face our ultimate opponent, Subaiku. Subaiku, he thinks he's better than me, huh? Okay. I don't know if he has confinement as well. I hope not. I really hope not. Actually, Sparkly Kitties is... Just a whatever play. Actually, that's not too bad. I'm really thinking of using Gray behind Sparkly Kitties, and then you have to pray they don't run Windmakers, because if they run Windmakers, I kind of just lose. But if they don't run Windmakers into Blessed, does it happen? <laughs> does the Gray Blessed setup work? He plays Gray himself. This is so strange. And it's gonna kill, it's gonna kill Sparkly if I play Gray behind that. Okay, we'll cycle this out. This is so strange. Um, no matter what, uh, I think I'm just going to do it. I just want to see what happens. So we're going to play this. It doesn't move, so it doesn't activate. He's going to end up killing my sparkly kitties here. And then I'm hoping I can get my gray off. I'm really hoping gray triggers. Please. <laughs> if he's busted brawn. This is super ambitious, so I'm not going to lie. But if he's busted brawn on that. Now it's gonna be really fun. And it also helps that my gray is one level above his because then that way, I mean, ours can survive the, the, the duel here. Please don't have Windmakers. Please don't have anything that can just one shot it. Even Windmakers wasn't, wouldn't clear it though. So it's kind of funny. Please. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Uh, I don't even play with gray on, like at all. So it's kind of funny to see me playing with gray he's gonna hit it no i don't get the plus with brawn play but i still get rid of his gifted and i get so much uh frontline here this is so solid yeah this is so solid so i kill his gifted i hit that i can also do rhymelings into gp i'm gonna do rhymelings gp and then i'm gonna do gifted recruits um, I kind of want to play a little bit back actually, and the reason is Bust with Brawn needs to come out next turn, and that, in that case, I really, really would like to have some kind of frontline or sorry, some kind of unit on board. I think playing it actually back is fine. We don't need to play super aggressive at the moment. We're gonna do a slow build up, uh, a slow push, but it's gonna have to be a build up. So, true shot. Really strange. So he has Dr. Mian in hand, I would assume. Do we just do this? Do we just do this, really? Or do we do Blessed Brawn? If we do Blessed Brawn, that's going to be 16 damage. Or we can do Wolf Cloaks for 11. But we, we're just going to lose Frontline. If we lose Frontline, I think we kind of just lose the game. So let's let's not do that. And we have to do this on this because if we bless... Yeah, this actually works out pretty well. This is fine. And we're going to have to play Radic, obviously, somewhere in the front. No matter what, it's going to clear one of these two, so it doesn't actually matter too much. I think this is fine. I think this can work. Okay, nice. That's good. That's good. Uh, so now he's probably going to play Dr. Mia. 
Now I'm really hoping that obviously I have this open. Oh, this into destructible bots. It's gonna be RNG though. 50-50, am I lucky or not? Do I win the lottery today? I obviously don't. On the bright side, it doesn't actually do too much because we are playing with the boss of Brawn, which is a pretty solid counter to these kind of control decks. But this is gonna obviously, they're gonna obviously attack uh, into here. I would assume, okay, there you go. So Dr. Mia clears that. That's fine because now we can do Wolf Cloaks and Wolf Cloaks is, makes me very happy. So we're definitely going to Wolf Cloaks here. Wolf Cloaks into cycle out Frost Hexers, not really. I'm gonna cycle out Gray. But then a gray, again, like gray is so good. <laughs> I am so tempted to do just cycle this out and play Icicle Burst somewhere else. Yeah, I'm pretty tempted to just do something like this, honestly. And then we're gonna hope that we can clear all of that next turn. We can clear most of that next turn, then gray could come out. I don't know, it's like always so tricky. I just want to stop their front line, so I think that's fine. Obviously, they're going to clear my gifted here and the game continues, so our push is getting a little bit slow, but it's okay. Uh, at least we're getting somewhere. True shot post. That is rather interesting. Hmm. Now there's a problem. So if I play gray... Oh no, this is solid. If I play gray, I mean, you just literally... You just won the game, don't you? Gray? Here. Or you could do Grey here. Actually, no, Grey here is better. Let's play Grey. Kills the Dr. Mia. This is such a broken balance card. All Saber Paws into Gifted Recruits. And then Cycle out Sparkly Kitties. Even though it's such a good card because we really want Plus with Brawn again. There you go. And next turn looks so solid because you also have maximized your mana efficiency again. And my Grey is also looking really, really annoying because now he has to play his Grey. So he'll play his Grey to kill my... Migrate and I'm guessing for the gifted recruits here. You know, it's so back and forth. This is kind of funny. <laughs> it's like, what are you supposed to do? But he has his gray for sure somewhere here. Likely kitties to hit that. Keeps it at five. Still can't GP unless you do something else. Okay, green girl. That's actually solid play. Hits both. Kills both. That's unfortunate. And then he has to finish with killing my gray. Hopefully he doesn't play. Yeah, okay, nice. That makes sense. Because if he played gray. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really make sense. So we still have such a solid line. I mean, you get Rhymelings down into... I'm going to do Busted Brawn first. Then you're going to hit that with a clear and then... Yeah, and then I mean, if he plays Grey, which he probably will next turn, if he plays Grey, luckily nothing dies. So we're still pretty solid. Still sitting pretty nicely. And I'm looking to use Wild Saber Paws, maybe even... Uh, Wolf Cloaks, I need to start getting in more Wolf Cloaks. This guy is getting in two True Shots, I only got one Wolf Cloaks. And he might even get a third True Shot here, so that would be very annoying to deal with. HV? Seriously? What? He just hv all the stuff. That did more damage to him than me, I would say. I mean, it's kind of equal, but okay, this makes sense now. Because this into Destructo Bots. That's fair. Does it clear it? It doesn't even clear it though. You need to play something else. This deck is so annoying. I hate <laughs> It's probably gonna clear this now. Oh, it doesn't even clear it. Actually, that's solid then. Ah, please, I need something better than Icicle first. Ah, which I kind of have to do. Wait, don't we just win? Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that lethal? Yes, it is. Well, GG. I'm just better player Savaiku. Sorry about that. Uh, we didn't get the gray boss with Bron yet, so we're gonna have to keep playing until we get that down. Why do we keep going first? It's actually so tilting. I don't like going first. <laughs> it's actually so tilting. Okay, so this is how you're supposed to play against Shadow Fan. This is better. But then again, if this falls into Loris traps, but I mean, what do you expect me to do? There's not much to do. So, anyways, this is the way to play it. I don't know why I keep going first. I really want to do Grey Bust with Brawn. We're going to try it. Even though we're going first, we're going to try doing Grey Bust with Brawn. <gasps> this can work. He's going to keep spawning units. This can work. This can work. He's going to spawn. Why is he playing level 3 card? Okay. It's okay. We're going to play it here. And I'm hoping Erratic doesn't confuse and go to the left. Otherwise, it just kind of blocks the whole point of this. So we're going to go ahead and play this. And we have to play Bust with Brawn next turn and win. And I hope, obviously, they don't play Confinement as well, because then 
That sucks. Now we really hope Erratic actually goes up. So this is pretty smart for them to play here because if Erratic gets confused or frozen, then they just get double proc again. Uh, I mean, Gifted here is sitting pretty nice to maybe block that. So you never really know for sure. But either way, if they spawn stuff, I'm just gonna, I need to bless it for on this. We have to do this at least once. It's the whole point of this video. Yeah, <laughs> the great bless with Braun and then force them to like never win. Interesting. Uh, okay then, that's kind of weird, but that's okay. Plus with Braun comes out, I don't even care that they spawn another unit. Okay, interesting. At least it got confused to the right. Nice. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm kind of just down to do this. I want to see what the heck happens. Uh, <laughs> good luck in other words, just good luck. Uh, this is going to be so hard to deal with now because sure, they have a lot of units and stuff, but... I don't know, it's, it's looking pretty solid. So this is, Gray's gonna end up killing this just from uh, the ability. And then we have this open. Maybe we should've, oh my gosh. Wait, he's buffing that one? Which is the low, weakest one. We still get off so much damage here. That's a really interesting player. Wow, he's playing with that. Um, fortunately, I still have such a good hand. I also, I would really like to get Frost Hexers to clear that, but Maybe that's not even the way to go. Maybe this is just the way to go. Let's just do this. I'm really, oh, I'm kind of so sad because if I play Rhinox here, we lose so easily to, I mean, to Crimson Sentry or even Witches. We're hoping for the best here. This thing is actually scaring me, so let's freeze that so it doesn't move. <laughs> oh my god, we have another Gray actually, which is going to be solid because then we can use Gray again after he clears us here, which I think he would. And then... Uh, yeah, the game continues. So I guess that sucks. We never got a really good play. I didn't realize this just so much. Six mana for 12. So, uh, interesting. Interesting. Six mana for 12. I mean, Buster Brown is 5 for 15. So it should be a lot better, but because he had so many Ancients on board, it just does so much. Is he marked us play on that? So our Gray gets another trigger. This is so funny. He just keeps killing stuff. I think it's pretty funny, pretty funny. I'll take it. So if I play gray on this board, nothing dies, which is kind of solid actually, when you think about it. But maybe we don't even want to play gray actually. So let's cycle out gray. Uh, okay, so we can work with this. We can work with this. I'm thinking of clearing that. Yeah, we can definitely work with this, this into this, and then we have to deny them spawning two more units. Otherwise, uh, I mean, <laughs> the game's gonna get really hard. So we'll play Erratic right here. Here is our Frost Exeters, finally. So we can Icicle Burst and Frost Exeters that. And we're gonna be drawing to Wolf Cloaks as our next card. It could be actually lethal, but it's a little bit difficult because all they really have to do is take over this position. If I had one more mana, you could technically use Frost Hexers, Icicle Burst. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's only four mana. Wait, that's not too bad, actually. Wait, don't I just win here? Uh, this is 6, 11. Yeah, I think I... W oh, no, not quite. Wait, no, I do win here with the uh, Wolf Cloaks. Do you guys see this? The lethal... The lethal... Never mind, take it back. <laughs> Wait, this is so bad, actually. Um, okay, we have to actually play here. Oh, wait, there is a winning position, though. Kind of. I so wish you could kill your own unit, that'd be pretty cool. But uh, there still is a way to win here. I think if we really analyze the board. I think this is the correct way. This is the right way to go, guys. Because now that makes it really difficult for them to hit that. I'm gonna play it here so that uh, forces the spawn weirdly. I really thought I was gonna get Wolf Clicks there. But also, Boss of Brawn would have been pretty nice. Now we're hoping. This is a lot we're hoping for. So we have to hope they don't play Crimson Sentry. To play Crimson Sentry, we still actually have this opening though. Like uh, we still will hold frontline because Crimson Sentry won't totally wipe this out. So that's pretty solid. Um, I mean, what else do they play? They also play Copper Skin, Mark this Prey, Rain of Frogs into Obsidian. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. The whole board is full. <laughs> I think the game's over at this point. <laughs> but I don't know <laughs> what's actually happening. Like half the board is just full and it looks like we won. Yay, we won. We didn't quite get the opening we want. Why do we keep going first? Stop it. Get some help. 
This doesn't work if you keep going first. We need great. Top deck great. Top deck great. Ah, this doesn't work if you keep going first though. What's wrong with this game? I mean, this sucks because now we're just back to square one. Okay, well, obviously we have to cycle this out. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with this game? Okay, we're actually going to play Sparkly Kitty second only because I like having the six strength, the stronger unit up front. That makes it really hard for them to clear. They also can't clear it with the gifted, sorry, green prototypes, which is obviously really solid. So that's kind of what we're going for here. What are they playing? <laughs> what is this? I'm just going to bust with Braun. I don't even care. Let's see if we can win really quick. This, this what is wrong with this game? <laughs> What is actually wrong with this game, man? <laughs> I don't understand. I actually, I actually am like speechless. I'm just speechless. Give me a, a... Do I even have anything that has movement? Please. Uh, a cheaper movement would have been better. But actually, this is not too bad. I guess we can make it work. Gray up front. Actually, gray is better um, on this side after all my units move up. So that's pretty solid. Gray, GP, erratic. I think this is the way to go. You have to play great first there, otherwise uh, you end up killing your own units, so let's not do that. This is also very solid. This could also just mean lethal next turn, so we have a lot going for us. And also this would end up killing one of their units. Also, the thing with Grey is so cool, you can actually end up killing your own unit for Wolf Cloaks. So this is like another Jowling Weavers um, synergy in a way. <laughs> very interesting. Interesting. Okay, interesting. So the enemy looks like they just want to lose. So close to lethal actually, it's kind of insane. There is a play, we actually might have to defend this, so I guess Wolf Cloaks isn't that good, but it is like 6 damage, it's kind of hard to get into, like we only have Saber Paws for 5, so it's going to be really awkward, but kind of have to play like this, and then we're going to have to play like this. I guess we could Saber at this point, mm, we could actually Saber into that. It's actually tricky, I don't know for sure. I'm thinking just playing here, but then Loris can come out, Hysteria. It's okay, we'll play like this, and we're hoping that we can get Frost Hexers. Which we don't. We never get Frost Hexers when we want it to, or so Ice Covers, which would be solid on that. Might just have to hold on to that if we have to. Gray, not so sure if it sees play, but it would be interesting. It does. All right, so I hope you guys have been counting cards, but I 100% don't think they have a counter to this. Um, I don't think they played it nearly as fast as I did. And this is also such a sweet top deck, so we can clear that. And then we're gonna keep moving forward. So, very solid. I don't think they have confinement, honestly. Our deck cycles just way too fast, which is kind of hilarious. I mean, the enemy's deck is literally holding the perfect counter to my card. And I'm still winning with it just because I can cycle tremendously faster than they can. And that is such an interesting way to play the game. Looks like we just won. <laughs> like I said, guys, there's just not much. I mean, after this, sure, you defend it, but yeah, I mean, just in time, I'm just going to end up winning this because I'm just, I just have such a big lead at this point. Or not, I guess, because the game wants them to win, clearly. We're actually going to play this, this, and then play GP. We'll play GP last. So in the beginning, you'd like to play GP early, but near the end of the game, you actually want to play GP last. Mostly because, well, at hitting these higher mana turns, you obviously need to sustain. You obviously need to play your higher mana cost cards first. Ideally, you play Sparkly Kitties first, other than G uh, before Gifted, but you have to play in this order. Otherwise, Sparkly Kitties can't land up here, which is exactly what you want. So, like, even if they board clear here, they still lose. I can just take up the entire field. Yeah, I just like Rhymeling, Saber Paws into. Wolf Cloaks is lethal. <laughs> yeah, they're just nothing. They're just nothing. The game's just over. And I was already considering, I mean, like, maybe they actually could have defended if they had a two movement unit here and then they somehow full clear with GP. But yeah, the game's just over. Good game. We haven't gotten it yet. I want to keep trying. So we're going second. But we're kind of hoping for a lot. We need gray. And if they play Temple of Time, then uh, never mind. And <laughs> then never mind. No, it's okay. We're still gonna end up winning, but I don't, I just don't know what to tell you guys. 
I actually kind of want to kill that, but at the same time, maybe not. I kind of want to just play it in front of it, mostly just because... Yeah, this actually makes a lot of sense. I actually want to play right in front of it, only because if they have green prototypes, I mean, it's just too easy to clear on any other tile. So let's not do that. Let's make them work for it. They have to move a unit here, then clear it with the green prototypes. Something like that, if they do have it. Bust with Brawn comes out on five, sounds solid. And then the game just keeps going forward. Crimson Sentry, see the, that's the problem Temple of Time, like it won't, it won't respawn this because it wasn't at the end of his turn. Anyways, Crimson Sentry will be met with Bust with Brawn and a good luck prayer to you, my friend, because I don't know how you're going to survive all of this, this next few turns. Okay, I have no idea what the enemy is doing. I could actually base luck here. Or I could just wolf cloaks. I think I'm just gonna wolf cloaks. I really don't care about poison. I don't care about what they play. Let's just wolf cloaks, call it a day. Cause then once we redraw into wolf cloaks, we kind of just win the game. <laughs> so we'll just do something like this. I mean, Amber Hides, the GP Amber Hides would probably, get, doesn't even clear that actually. GP Amber Hides does not even clear this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? <laughs> It's just nothing. I mean, now he probably has marked as prey, but does it really matter when I just win the game? So, yeah, I think the game's just kind of over. Kind of sucks that Grace sees absolutely no play. I know if I play it now, I just lose my, my units. So, I don't know. It's kind of a strange world we live in where you can't play your units. But I think this is the way to go. So I'm thinking just mark this prey, honestly. Yeah, I, I, like 99% of the time runs mark this prey. Okay, copper skin into mark this prey. Oh, toxic. Okay, yeah, the game's over. Yeah, that's still eight damage, so they need GP. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I can't I can't with this game. They always give me first. It's actually very annoying. But I'm gonna still try. We'll keep, we'll keep trying. Though I mean the the best play here is like yeah, there is no best play here. It's unfortunate because I'm the one that's always playing the, the more units first, which means Gray doesn't really see play. You need Gray to only see play once they have more units. I mean, hopefully this is, maybe this will work. I'm not so sure, honestly. You have to cycle Icicle Burst, hope for the best. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really like playing Gray on this board though. We're just gonna play this into Gifted, clear that, because obviously I'm just a little bit worried about linked golems. So clearing their destructive bots here is pretty solid. Not to mention, yeah, this is just pretty solid in general. I think it's fine. Now they're gonna to have to find another way to deal with GP. And a lot of people fall for this, not really, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a trap, I guess. See, they wanna clear this GP, so they end up using a resource here and they leave this open for plus with Brawn, and then I'm happy. So this is actually an interesting trade. Uh, I don't get busted with Brawn, not quite. I mean, you technically still could. Is that really worth it? Is it that good of a card? I think so, let's try it. <laughs> let's try it in the next turn. We could actually play Gray with Rhymelings. Sounds pretty solid. Gray into Rhymelings. This is why this card is so good. You can literally play Gray. On this kind of board where it's neutral, we're going to expect them to play some kind of unit. See, look, so now we can gray here and it'll kill the Windmaker, even though they expect to get a double proc off Windmakers. We have to say, too bad, so sad. Also, I kind of just realized we can't play Rhymelings with gray because you have to play gray first. So kind of a big misplay. That's all right. I don't think we'll draw into GP here, so we can definitely cycle that out. Um... Moment of silence for that one. I thought Gray would kill that, but I kind of didn't realize that <laughs> they're not playing a unit and they did not play another unit. So that was a pretty bad turn. But does it really matter? Does it really matter when you're gonna win anyways? I hope I draw into, I need to cycle fast like onto Boss of Braun again. Really hoping we can get this soon. Okay, at least this is still kind of decent, I guess. 
this into GP Sparkly into sorry this into Gifted and then Sparkly GP. We need to draw into Bustle Brawn again. This time, now that we know that they play Windmakers, so even though we had that huge misplay, I mean we're only mostly winning because I don't think their deck is that well crafted. I guess I'm just out decking them because. Oh shoot, did that come out wrong? Um, because, well, like, look, like, you can't really play this alone. If you're playing with Urn, I mean, that's good, but if you're playing Minion Blast, just on its own, it's kind of strange. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to end up playing Saber Paws, Blast, and then wish them a good luck in the next life, because I don't think they have a way to defend that. When the best counter to Windmakers is literally just playing at their base because once you do that, they can only get one trigger off Windmakers. You can't get two like they did over here. So, I mean, that's pretty solid. So they'd have to clear this, hit this with Windmakers, and even then, not very good. Windmakers here, I'm guessing. Yeah, there you go. Still in the lead. How much damage is that? That is seven damage to the face. We're at 12. We can top deck lethal with a lot of things i don't like icicle burst so we have to cycle this out there you go and the game's over <laughs> we didn't get it guys i'm so sad we need the gray <laughs> bus brawn oh even when you want it to work they only play one unit so even if we top that gray still not that good that really sucks honestly i'm a little bit disappointed not gonna lie but Let's just play this. Let's see what, what we can do with this game as well. Yeah, this game's not really going too well, but I can still keep trying. I actually want to play into... I want to play for a gray turn, you know what I mean? Sounds really fun. I really want to play for a gray turn. So we're going to stack units here. Hope they clear it and stuff. Then we play gray and then we re-smile. Or we can actually just do GP into Bless with Brawn. That, my turn there was honestly pretty poor value. Not my greatest play, but if they play like Reign of Frogs, maybe we can still pick back up because it, we still have a chance of getting like Blessed with Brawn at the base or something, then that'd be really solid. I think Shadowfen doesn't do too well against, oh shoot. They need Sparkly Kitties to clear this though, or Devious Hacks, which either way would grant me a unit. Please give me GP Blessed with Brawn and I will smile on the heavens. Yes! No! Why would you play it there? <laughs> okay, that's unfortunate, but either way, I still think this is the way to go. So we'll just go ahead and do this and this. And then we will just cycle up G GR and just call it a day. So, actually, I think this is pretty game winning. They would need a two. Oh, wow. That is. That is so fantastic. You have to keep in mind that they played Gifted Recruits last turn. They played Dubious Hugs rather, I uh, guess, sure, turn one, but I still don't think they would cycle back into it. So I expected them not to have Dubious Hugs or uh, GR in hand. The only other card that could save them there would be Sparkly Kitties. And as you can see there, they weren't able to get it. Or even a stationary unit actually would be sol solidifies a good defense. Guys. <gasps> we have the hand. Please play two units. Please play two units. Oh, please play two units. Who doesn't play two units on mana three? Seriously. <laughs> play two units. <laughs> I really want this. Okay. You still make it work. It's okay. So they play one unit. But gray, blessed with brawn. I don't care. I'm not. Don't even think twice. I think this is so solid. Especially as uh, Swarm. What the heck do you even play? The only, the best thing I could think of is buffing this. That would be really sad. That would actually make me sad. If you buff this, don't buff this, please. Don't buff this, please. Just, just give it to me. Give me Bless with Brawn. Or you could actually play a unit with movement and then attack into it. You don't have that. You don't have that. Just, just let me win. Just let me get like Bless with Brawn, call it a day. No, please. <laughs> please get the recruits. I'm so sad. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't, you don't have it. Just play like something, just play like Head Start. Oh, you play it over here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I don't know what the heck they're going to do to counter that, but I am just so happy. I shouldn't be cycling at Wolf Cloaks. What am I doing? It's okay. I probably shouldn't be cycling at Wolf Cloaks though, because then I could just get free damage to the base, but it's okay. I don't care. I'm happy with this. This is such a sick setup. Five mana, you can't clear this. 
Oh my gosh, they're just spamming more units. This is fantastic and I can freeze it. This is so good. Okay, I'm gonna cycle out Sun Militia because obviously we don't want too many units ourselves. Uh, I mean, honestly guys, what, what is there to say? I think this is just game winning. Like, look at this play. They can't do anything, they can't clear that and I'm gonna freeze this. Wow. So their best play would be to just not play anything after I freeze this. Because if they play something, then the... Oh wait, I'm trolling. I'm completely trolling because my units would walk up anyways. Wait, this is so good. They end up losing another unit. What is this game? <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. It literally kills off one of their units. I can play Grey again. No, because then Grey would kill my own unit. Oh wait, actually that's fine though. Maybe it's okay that Grey kills my own unit. What am I doing? What am I doing? So if Grey kills my own unit. GP erratic. Freeze. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening, guys? What is happening? This is just hilarious. What did like what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? I mean I I just draw into lethal at this point if they don't have ways to clear all this stuff. And if they do have ways to clear all this stuff, then they might have too many units and then Grey ends up just killing their stuff again. So the other play actually might have been better. You guys are probably thinking in your head, why don't you just play Grey more to the right and then play your units like GP to the left here, Grey to the right. Because that would actually not be too bad. I mean, what would happen is GP walks up and then one less unit and then it kills this stuff. So that'd be kind of interesting, but yeah i mean like what do you do look gray's gonna kill this again so this gray doesn't kill anything then this gray kills that and then i just win anyways <laughs> that is so funny the amount gray just won us the game from the four mana five mana gray you just win the game and that is without the enemy playing two units on mana three if they play two units on mana three then the game's actually just over what a game that was actually pretty funny i had quite a laugh there um and that's going to close out the series. I actually, I mean, close out this episode. I ended up playing so many more games than I wanted to, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and catch you in the next one. Peace.